Hey man, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Tyson for the and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a complete 100% zero dollar on the house free course on how to create a profit machine sales funnel for you or your clients. Guys, this one is going to be a certified hood classic. So without any further ado, let's hop right into it. So guys, as you can see, we have the free 4D sales funnels course by yours truly guys you guys are going to get access to so many examples so many templates so many things that you can use inside of this course and it's going to alleviate a lot of confusion for a lot of people because i know when you're just getting started out a sales funnel seems like i don't know it's just very daunting because you don't even know what it means what it refers to how to make one what it really looks like so i'm going to be showing you real world examples and giving you templates that you can use in this free course. So guys, to learn the most from this free course, you're gonna have to follow a couple of steps, okay? Guys, understand that your success is my responsibility. You guys found yourself on this video, so I want to make it more than worth your while. That is my goal, okay? So you're gonna wanna save this video for later by leaving a like, because this video is gonna be a long one, I'm not gonna lie. So if you leave a like, then you can come back and find that video again instead of having it lost forever. So. That's what you're going to want to do next. You're going to want to follow every single step carefully. Guys, this is an action plan, okay? What is knowledge without action? What is the point of it? Well, we got to have some action, right? So there's going to be some action steps that you're going to have to follow. Next is, guys, make sure that you ask any questions in the comments. I've said this before on my other videos. You guys should be asking questions in the comments, but this is probably going to be the most commented on video on my whole channel just because sales funnels are not extremely simple, right? I can obviously make it as simple as possible in this video by making a very, very long free course, but still, you're gonna probably have some questions, some things that you're not 100% sure of, so by all means, go in the comments and ask them because I answer every single comment. And of course, you guys are going to want to take notes and watch certain parts again, okay? This is not just like a course that you just watch one time, it's more of a resource, right? Next time you go to make a sales funnel or you have questions about a sales funnel or you see somebody else have a question about a sales funnel, just send them the link and uh, it's, it's all gonna be good. Everybody's gonna have their questions answered and we will be chilling. So if you guys don't know me, my name is Tyson 4D. I have the whole YouTube channel where I upload lots of free courses, right? I'm also a copywriter and I've been a marketer for multiple seven figure businesses, mostly business coaches and high ticket coaches. So that's a little bit of uh, my background, right? I've, I've created quite a few funnels and quite a few automations for those funnels. So today, what you're going to learn is why sales funnels are crucial for online businesses, the psychology behind every sales funnel, the three main components of any sales funnel, what is, what is email retargeting and how we can use it to generate profits, how to craft a highly profitable sales funnel, the exact thought process behind funnel hacking, and a ton more. Okay, this one's going to be absolutely crazy. So what even is a sales funnel in simple, plain English terms, right? No, no crazy jargon. A sales funnel is a marketing concept that maps out the journey a customer goes through. That's all it really is, is a map. They go from here, they end out here, and we make, we make money in between, okay? It goes from the first point of contact with your brand to the final purchase. The reason why it's called a funnel is because the process looks like a real funnel. It's wide at the top, uh, where potential customers first interact with the brand, and narrow at the bottom where the sale is made. Reason being is because let's say 100 people you know, come across you in your top of funnel. We're going to learn what all that means later. Well, if, if 100 people come across you, maybe 90 people will keep watching you, 80 people will go to your sales page, and maybe, I don't know, 20 people will end up buying. See, 100 people found you, but 20 people end up buying. And what our goal is with the sales funnel to optimize it is so that for every 100 people that come, instead of 20 people that buy, maybe we can make it to 30 people that buy. Or maybe the 20 people who buy, we can make them buy even more and generate more profits from them. So that, in a nutshell, is essentially what a sales funnel actually refers to. And this is what a sales funnel looks like. So we start with attention, interest, desire, and action. That's, that's the essential visual graphic. Those are the steps, those are the structures that we're going to want to follow, but we're going to get more into that as we go on. 
So at the top, you have a broad audience who may or may not know uh, your, about your product or service, right? They're probably just coming for some type of free value or they're just seeing you from an ad or who knows. At these, as these customers move down the funnel, they become more aware of what you're offering, engage with your brand and develop a desire for your product. And then they finally take action, typically in the form of a purchase, okay? So basically, there's different ways of getting them familiar with your brand, building trust, and then, of course, eventually selling to them. So what does a funnel actually look like? So as you can see here in this diagram, I'm going to see if I can make it bigger. Here we go. As we can see here in this diagram, we have what is called a, uh, a, lead, or a sales funnel. Okay. So here's what a sales funnel might look like. So as we can see here, it starts with an Instagram story. And then it goes to a lead magnet. Um, what is a lead magnet? A lead magnet is essentially a free resource. Of course, we're going to get more into this as we go. A free resource that you can give them in exchange for their information, like their email address or their cell phone number. Okay. So you basically post an Instagram story. You say, hey, guys, here's my free cheat sheet. Okay. They go and download that free cheat sheet and then they give you their email. Now you have a list of emails. This is called an email list, okay? And that is how that goes. But after they put in their email, they are taken directly to a sales page, a sales page which gives them a $97 offer. Now, not everybody who is going to buy that $97 offer, but if they do buy, they will get upsold to a $297 offer, okay? What does that mean? It's kind of just the classic, would you like fries with that? It's like, okay, here's the $97 program or service or product. And then you bought that. Would you like to upgrade to the next version? Okay. And then if you do, then maybe they upsell you again to another, I don't know, 997 course or program or service. But if you don't get the $97 offer, then maybe it could take you to a $27 offer. So you say, no, thanks. I don't want to set in the $97 thing. And then I ask you, okay, no problem. But how about this $27 thing? It's a little bit smaller, smaller price, lower commitment. How about that? Right? Basically, what we're doing is we're maximizing the amount of profit that we will make from each people who opts in to our free lead magnet. Now, this is just an example. This is not what any uh, funnel looks like. And I even just made this up in three seconds using uh, Miro. Miro.com is basically where you can go to draft up um, funnels like this and, and frameworks. So that's a little piece of game for you guys if you ever want to go do that. That's how you actually map it out. But still, there are some more uh, funnels that we can take a look at. For example, this, my friends, is a huge swipe file from a guy named Russell Brunson. We'll learn about him later. But essentially, this contains tons and tons and tons of funnels inside. And I wanted to just give you a couple of quick examples as to what a couple look like and how they might work just to get you, give you a better understanding before we really, really start to dissect them and look at some actual funnels like what the, what the sales pages look like. So here's one. Here's a more traditional funnel, right? This is what it might look like. Um, it strongly resembles the one that we kind of looked up, looked at above. So it takes you to a page. You opt in. That's what this means. Then it takes you to a $37 offer. It's pretty cheap. So you buy that $37 offer, and then it presents you with a $197 offer. If you buy that $197 offer, then it offers you another $97 a month offer. Boom. And then you're through. So that's if you buy everything. So that total LTV, which means lifetime value, is essentially $40 plus $200, $240, $340. So it's essentially around $340 if somebody says yes to all of these, okay? That's what lifetime value means. Now, let's say they say yes to the $37 offer, but they don't say yes, meaning they say no to the $197 offer. Well, then they get what's called downsold to three payments of $67. And essentially, that what that means is basically they are paying it, but they're paying it in smaller increments. Okay, so this is the way that you can still uh, make money, but get rid of the objection of, well, I don't have the money right now, right? Because then you give them the option. So if they say no to that, then they get the option to split up the payments, and then they'll probably say yes to that. 
But if they don't say yes to that, then they're, they're out. They're out of the funnel. But if they do say yes to that and they buy, they'll end up the same place that they would if they bought the 197 So now they're over here. But if they say no to the $97 offer, then they get downsold again. Downsold to a 30-day tri- free trial of whatever the $97 a month thing is. Right? And now with that $97 a month thing, you can make profit from that one customer over and over and over again for the end of time. Right? 10 years and you're still making money from this uh, one sale. Okay, so this is essentially uh, a funnel and how they work and how we can really, really squeeze the most amount of profit and also give the most amount of value in every single time someone actually interacts with one of our uh, free lead magnets or a $37 um, $37 buy, okay? And I have one more here for you guys. This one is kind of more creative, okay? So it's one that's a little bit different that we haven't looked at. So essentially, it starts by somebody taking a quiz. Now... I don't know if you guys have ever noticed or ever seen those like Facebook quizzes or whatever. People do love taking quizzes. There's like, you know, find out which character from Twilight you are. And then you go take the quiz and you're like, oh, my God. Wow, I'm Jacob or whatever. I don't know why people do it. Don't ask me. But people just love to fill out quizzes. Okay, so if somebody goes ahead and fills out a quiz, this is the acidic quiz. So the example used here is take this quiz to find out if your body is acidic or something. I don't know. Some one of those. Uh detox dudes or something so if it's not acidic or kind of acidic or yes it is acidic it will basically take you to a personalized landing page where they will sell you something so the beginning of or the end of this could be possibly the beginning of our last funnel right where after you take the quiz it takes you into this 37 dollar offer and then it takes you down the, the rest of the chain so essentially what it is is just a map you go here, then you say yes, or you say no. It's just a personalized map to, um, to generate profit. That's all it really is. And it's not really as complicated as a lot of people think it is, right? Because a lot of the times when people ask, what is a sales funnel? There's not, very many, <laughs> there's not very many answers that you can give them that are just like very, very plain speak English. This is what it is, right? But I've provided you guys with that and some examples. So hopefully now you get a better understanding of what I'm talking about when I go through and, and explain the smaller parts of it. So why sales funnels are key in online marketing? Well, customer journey. Sales funnels allow you to visualize the customer journey, helping you understand how customers move from being prospects to buyers. This understanding will make it easy to identify gaps in your marketing strategy and find areas for improvement. Guys, Before we had funnels and landing pages, we had just these clunky looking websites, bro. And websites are terrible. And I'll tell you the difference between a a funnel and a website. A funnel essentially is a place where you can go and you can browse through products or you can browse through the blogs or you can just browse through the about us page, right? Having a website isn't necessarily wrong, but you don't want, but, but a landing page in a funnel are just going to create you so much more profit, right? They are profit machines. Okay, and then essentially you can make it to where you have, you know, like I said, 100 people coming at the top and then you can predictably get two or three sales at the bottom and then you can make money. So then every person you get in there, you can essentially monetize. So customer journey next is targeted marketing by mapping out the sales funnel. You can tailor your message and offers to meet your customers where they are in the buying process which can increase engagement and conversions. And next, of course, is increased sales and ROI. ROI stands for return on investment, my people. Ultimately, a well-defined and optimized sales funnel will guide more customers to purchase, increasing your sales and return on investment, ROI. Boom. So now I want to talk to you guys about Russell Brunson and ClickFunnels. You may or may not have heard of Russell Brunson or ClickFunnels. Essentially, he is somewhat of the godfather of all uh, sales funnels because he created the company ClickFunnels, which is a sales funnels website where you can create sales funnels on. And he also created that uh, big old phone book full of funnels that I showed you guys earlier. So who is Russell Brunson? He is a renowned entrepreneur, author, speaker, digital marketer, and co-founder of ClickFunnels. What is ClickFunnels? ClickFunnels is a software that allows businesses to design, build, and run their sales funnels all in one place. Extremely easily, I might add. Anybody watching this video right now can easily create a, uh, a ClickFunnels sales funnel. Very, very easy. What is the two comma club? 
Well, Russell Brunson and ClickFunnels give out real awards to people who have made a funnel that generated over $1 million, right? And this is kind of what it looks like. And I don't know about you guys, but I see so many entrepreneurs with this little plaque, right? I see let's look, every entrepreneur and their mother has this damn plaque, right? So that just goes to show that everybody out here making a million dollars with their funnel because funnels just be profit generating machines. This is what they do. Well, here's the psychology behind successful funnels. So like the structure we kind of went over before, we kind of touched on it. Awareness, okay? This is the top of the funnel where your potential customers first become aware of your brand, products, or services. Next, we have interest. At this stage, prospects are interested and start to engage more with your brand. Your goal is to provide valuable content that educates the customer about your products or service and nurtures their interest. So what does this actually look like? Okay. So on the awareness phase, let's say somebody comes across a, uh, your Instagram and they, they see some of your reels and they really like your content. So they follow you. Well, now they've moved from step one to step two because they have interest. Okay. And then comes desire. Now your prospects are considering whether to make the purchase or not. They might compare your offerings with the competitors, read reviews, or check out your case studies. That's why it's your job to provide compelling content that always, that sways their decision in your favor, okay? So now they hear about your product, or they see it, or they see some of the results from your product, and now they're kind of on the fence. They're on the fence, they're thinking, hmm, well, I need to go into information gathering mode to see if this is something that I actually want to invest in. And then, of course, they take action. The final stage of the funnel is when the prospect takes action and becomes a customer by purchasing one of your products or services. And then, of course, they get into your sales funnel where you can give them up sales, down sales, cross sales, diagonal sales, and everything in between. So what are the three parts of a sales funnel? Well, we have the top of funnel. So aim to reach as many people as possible, the widest part of the funnel. Your goal is to engage your audience, provide value, and get people to trust your brand. The strategies, well, content marketing, social media marketing, search, search engine optimization, et cetera, et cetera. So top of funnel. This is basically where you either become findable or you get in front of people, all right? You can't sell anything if nobody knows you. So this is where you basically get people to know you. Basically, you're creating a content machine if you're a business, all right? Or they're creating a content machine. They get as many eyeballs onto them as possible and they become as findable as possible. This is with things like YouTube videos, Instagram uh, posts, Twitter, literally anything. That is your top of funnel. Next is your middle of funnel. So nurture the leads you've attracted and build relationships with them. Position your product or service as the best solution. Prospects are in info gathering mode. So strategies like this are email marketing, targeted content, webinars, or free trials. Okay, so let's say you give somebody your email for a free resource. Well, now that person is most likely going to give you value in your emails, but also inform you that they are selling something as well. Okay, and that is basically when you're in the middle of the funnel. This is how they're going to make you aware of their product. And next is the bottom of funnel, where the potential customer makes the decision to purchase. Provide the info. Uh, so the goal is to provide the info prospects need to buy and make the buying process as frictionless as possible, okay? Offering product demos, consultations, special discounts, or money back guarantees. So this is essentially where you make a very, very low risk offer, right? This is something for maybe $7 or something for maybe $37, something very, very small where they can say, okay, yeah, sure, let me invest with this person. And then as they make that purchase, they get offered some upsells or down sales and what have you. This is how you maximize the profit of each person who comes into your funnel. So how do we actually get traffic into the top of your funnel? Well, there are different types of the top of your funnel, and we're going to kind of uh, go over them uh, right here. So content marketing. This involves creating and sharing valuable free content to attract and engage your audience. Examples are things like blog posts, ebooks, videos, and podcasts. Guys, you ever notice whenever you look something up, right? Like I, I looked up the other day, how hot should a chicken be before you like actually eat it? Like, what's the cooking temperature of chicken? And I went on to, to look for the answer. I clicked on a link. And as soon as I start scrolling, a pop-up comes up. And it says, uh, put in your email and put in your email for 15% off some cookbook or something like that, right? They try to incentivize the, uh, just getting you into their content, right? This is how they do it. 
Um, you've probably come across a lot of blogs like that, but that's kind of how they work. Next is social media marketing. This is a different way. So this is things like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, allow you to share different forms of content and build brand awareness. Okay. Examples are things like your Instagram stories, Twitter stories, Twitter have stories. I don't really know. <laughs> Threads, reels, carousels. I never used threads before. It's still brand new as of this recording. So who knows if that will be, if that will stick. Next is search engine optimization. It involves optimizing your website and content to rank higher in search engine result pages. Examples, uh, changing keywords, providing valuable content on a website, etc. Okay. So if you have a product, let's say if somebody searches up um, wallpaper design course, Right? They want to learn how to design wallpapers. Then you can basically search engine optimize your website to be like, hey, I want to, I want to uh, show up first in the search results when someone is searching up this thing. So I'll add different websites or different words to my website, and then I will rank higher because nobody ever checks the second page of Google. You got to be kidding me. Nobody just does that. If you get on the first page of Google, you're going to get a lot of traffic. If you're on the second page of Google, sorry, bro. Ain't nobody checking you out. Next is PPC ads called pay per click. So this is social media ads and things like that. You see an Instagram ad or you see a YouTube ad or something. That is, that is essentially this. So like I said, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, Google ads, et cetera, et cetera. So what happens with all of this traffic? So now people know you. People know you exist. People know that you're a person online who does stuff. It gets converted and closer to the bottom of the funnel through a lead magnet or low ticket offer. A lead magnet is a free item or service that is given away for the purpose of collecting contact details such as your email address or phone number, like previously explained briefly. So here are some examples of a lead magnet, right? These are things that businesses give away to get your information so that they can have a point of contact with you, okay? Email is so powerful because if you post something like a YouTube video or an Instagram post, people don't actually get notified of it. You and your email is essentially one of the only ways that people can get notified when you post or notified of something when you want to speak to them, okay? It's a more direct form of communication, so people might say, here's my free ebook, quizzes or surveys, webinars, training videos, free trials, templates, cheat sheets, checklists, guides, exclusive articles, reports, and a lot more. An example of a lead magnet. This is where it gets good. Okay, I'm going to show you now. Enough, enough theory and, you know, all this. I'm going to actually go in one and show you what a lead magnet actually looks like. Okay, so this is Dan Locke. How I sold $100 million of high ticket offers. The 100 million high ticket coaching and consulting cheat, cheat sheet, right? As we can see, we have value. We have some testimonials. In this free cheat sheet, you'll discover one question that changed my life, 12 psychological shifts, high ticket offers that sell, and so on and so forth. And now you can see you can download for zero dollars. And then this is a little bit about Dan Locke, industry leaders, and then some more call to action. So once you go here, then you can put your information in and go to the next part. And once you're here, it says, congratulations. Um, the $100 million cheat sheet, fast track your results with the uh, high ticket client four day digital boot camp. Now, guys, does this seem familiar? Does it seem familiar? I don't know. So 30 day, 100% money back guarantee. You risk nothing. Normally $3,500 yours today for only $47. Introducing the high ticket clients boot camp. Okay, so now you know what it looks like and how it feels like to be in a funnel. I just downloaded his free thing and now it's saying, look, there's this very, very low risk $47 offer if you want it. And you best believe that after you buy it, which I'm not gonna do on this call, <laughs> after you buy it, it will probably upsell you to something else. Um, and if I say no to somewhere on this page, it might downsell me. And as we can see here on checkout, here we, here we are. Here's the actual upsell. If you check this box, then for only $27 more, you get his other thing as well. Unlock your confidence blueprint or whatever this is. Okay. And then after you invest, it probably takes you to another upsell or downsell or something of that nature. But this is essentially what it looks like, right? Now, this page is a little bit, I mean, I guess it's not that long, but this is also completed with ClickFunnels, right? So this is what ClickFunnels looks like. It looks pretty professional. Um, you know, the graphics are nice. And, you know, it, it kind of how you have your value stack here and your different parts of the sales page. I'll be going over how to exactly write a sales page and the 
uh, sales page structures in the next course, but that is it for your example funnel. That's what they look like. So now we have to speak about the value ladder, okay? We're going to be going over some more examples uh, further on as we go as well. I kind of just wanted to conceptualize what we all just talked about right there. So, you know, in case you're just worried that we would just be talking about theory. So a value ladder maps out the progress, the progression of products uh, you offer your customers. The ideal, the idea is to incrementally provide more value to your customers while increasing their investment in your business over time. So first of all, you get the bait, which is like your free, here's your free lead magnet, your free cheat sheet. Next, you have your front end, which is a small offer. Next, you have your middle, which is a slightly bigger offer. Then you have your back end, okay? So for high ticket programs, like a high ticket coaching class or whatever, I know Dan Locke, for example, definitely does have a high ticket back end. A high ticket back end simply just refers to their offer that they'll present to you after you've bought the small stuff which consists of a coaching offer or something that gets them more involved, like a mentorship that will cost you around 3000 to 5000 in some cases, even $10,000 or more. I've actually worked with companies who do have $10,000, $50,000 packages for their coaching offers. So that is what a backend refers to. Disclaimer, not every customer will make it to the top of the ladder, and that's okay, okay, because you're still making profit just from them taking the bait, front end, middle end, whatever. The goal is to provide relevant solutions to the customers at every stage, maximize the lifetime value of each customer, aka the LTV. Lifetime value is how much money a customer is expected to bring to your business during uh, their time as a customer. It is determined by the amount a customer spends per purchase, the frequency of their purchases, and their lifespan as a customer. So let's say somebody comes in, and on average, right, 100 people come in and the average, you know, money generated, let's say they buy the, the main product, they buy an upsell or two, maybe one of them buys the back end and then they subscribe to something for a couple months. You could have an LTV, an average LTV of a couple hundred dollars or a couple of thousand dollars. OK, so once you have this figure, right, see, sales funnels are all about figures. Okay? You want to have a clear, concrete number of how many people are expected to buy, because when you get this. Then you have a profitable funnel. You can spend $3 on ads and get a $5 sale. And then once you optimize your funnel, you can spend $3 on ads and learn how to get $10 on sales, or $10 of sales. Then you can extrapolate that. $300 you spend on ads, $1,000 you get back. $300,000 you spend on ads, $1 million you get back. You just made $700,000 in profit. This is why ads are literally, or sorry, this is why uh, sales funnels are essentially a free money glitch, like basically a free money glitch. It's, it's nuts. Why is it so important? Well, customer segmentation. Lifetime value allows businesses to categorize their customers based on their financial value. This helps uh, in creating personalized marketing strategies and building relationships. So after somebody buys, let's say they buy a low ticket product, but not the high ticket product. Well, now you can market to them specifically the high ticket product. But somebody who hasn't bought anything, you can market to them low ticket product. OK, so this means segmentation. OK, you can get very, 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 very personalized with how you market to people. Predictable profits. By knowing a customer's LTV, businesses can predict future revenue and cash flow, which allows them to make the right financial decisions. OK, and next we have client retention. Understanding LTV helps in identifying high value customers. Business can then focus on retaining these customers, which will ensure a steady revenue stream. And now we must learn about upsells, downsells, and cross sells. So what is an upsell? Enticing a customer to buy a more expensive version of the product they're already buying. Why is it so important? Because it increases the revenue and customer value. Or what is a downsell? Offering a less expensive option to a customer who decided not to buy an expensive product. This is important because it decreases the customer loss and also increases the conversion. And then what is a cross sell? Pitching a complementary product to customers to enhance their experience. Okay. So this is like that little checkbox that I showed you guys, you know, buy this $47 upsell uh, and then get this $27 cross sell. You can buy them both at the same time, boost revenue per sale and improves customer experience with valuable add-ons. 
Okay, and of course we need to, of course we need to touch on the power of email retargeting because of course we have a lot of copywriters watching this right now, and this is how you can make a lot of money with emails on top of your sales funnels, guys. This is how you can literally generate so much money for a company is rather nuts. It is rather nuts. Email retargeting is a powerful digital marketing strategy used to re-engage customers who've interacted with your brand by visiting your website, clicking on a product, or abandoning a shopping cart. Why is this so effective? Well, first, segmentation. Um, you can segment your email list into groups, like we kind of went over before. High conversion rates. Retargeting emails are sent to individuals who have already shown interest. Okay, so this is how you can retarget buyers and just get more personalized with who you send your emails to. Next is it is cost effective. Compared to acquiring new customers, retargeting existing ones is more affordable, which makes it a better return on investment. Guys, it's way easier to sell to people who have already bought from you than to sell to people who have never bought from you before. And it's cost effective because when you get somebody's email, you can essentially market to them to the end of time for free, right? But with ad, for example, you got to pay for every time you get in front of that person. So email marketing is essentially free ads. (laughs) So if you want to learn how to actually create those emails and create email sequences to uh, achieve those results, then you can go and watch this free one-hour email masterclass that I recorded after you're done this video, of course. So... Now I have to reveal to you guys the craft funnel formula, C-R-A-F-T, craft. So how do you actually go about making a funnel? Well, first of all, we have to be concerned with customer research. Understand who you're targeting. What is your demographic? What is their age? What is their, uh, what is their sex or gender, I guess you would call it, right? So get clear on who you are researching. What, what are their dream states? What are their pain points? Again, I go more deep into this when I'm talking about copywriting. Um, on this free course, I'll be sticking mostly towards sales funnels since I've already gone pretty deep on copywriting. If you want to know the copywriting stuff, like I said, go to some of those other free courses. I have a whole channel. I have three-hour free courses, a bunch of one-hour free courses. It's nuts. Next, we have to remove obstacles. Make it frictionless for them to buy at every step. Guys, we don't want them jumping through a bunch of hoops just to buy something. Okay, we want to make it as easy as possible. Next is action or the call to action. Ensure the prospect knows exactly what to do next. It needs to be clear. Okay. Next is to fine tune and fine tune with split testing. This one's very important. Try different variations of the key elements in your funnel. For example, headline. Guys, a headline is what 90% of the results of your landing page will come from right? Just by changing the headline, the rest of the copy, sure, that's important, but it only really accounts for 20 to 10%. The headline, you want to test out different headlines and split test. What a split test is, is you can essentially send 50% of people to page number A, page letter A, 50% of people to page letter B, right? But page letter A gets, you know, 75% of the results, B gets 25% of the results. So what are you going to do? You're going to take out B. You're going to be like, okay, A is better. And then you can test out A to a different page, page letter C. Okay. And let's say C does better. This is how you optimize and get the best results possible. Okay. But you want to change different elements and use variations so that you can figure out which page will convert the best. And then next, of course, you want to track and tweak. Analyze what works and keep improving the funnel. Okay. And then eventually you'll get that infinite money glitch. You can make that infinite money glitch even more profitable for you with those ads, with those optimizations. And then you're literally going to be Scrooge McDuck, bro. You're going to be chilling. Next, how to build a high ticket back end. So like I said before, we know know what a high ticket back end is. It is an offer that you are selling for $3,000, $5,000, or even more up to some cases. I have seen offers that are over $100,000 before. I've seen it. So you want to get warmed up leads aware of your high ticket uh, using email marketing, right? So get them aware of it. Next, you want to create an application page for the high ticket. Now, the thing with high ticket is that you only want to get on sales calls with people who are qualified because sometimes, you know, especially when you have a high ticket uh, thing that's like maybe $10,000, a high ticket offer that's $10,000, and you're getting on all these calls with people and they're like, yeah, bro, I, I literally only have $200 in my bank account. Sorry. Then you're kind of essentially just wasting the sales person's time. Right. So when we give them a quiz right, or an application, rather, we can qualify them so that we are only getting on calls with people who are able to move to the next step. 
And then if the leads are qualified, get them on the sales call. If they don't, if they didn't apply, they get retargeted with emails. It's pretty simple. So here's uh, an example of an application page by the boy Sabri Subi. Sabri Subi is a huge internet marketer. So copy and paste this wild new larger market formula and start getting five to 50 plus dream clients in the next 42 days. Reveal the exact five-step selling system we use to flood businesses with 50 plus high value dream clients in 42 days or less, even during a recession. And then here we have his video sales letter. This is where he kind of speaks to you and tells you things. And then claim your free 30 minute blueprint session. This is a, uh, a value CTA to a sales call essentially right? It's essentially a sales call. Now, when you attach a value to a sales call, people will more often let their guard down. You don't want to be like, click here to book a consultation or something or book a free consultation because then people will feel like you're trying to sell them. But a free 30 minute blueprint session, you know, feels, feels better. Okay. It feels better. Then you click on it. And then of course you go through a, uh, a quiz here. Boom. And then it asks you things like your name, your email, and so on and so forth, how much money you make. So then you're qualified as to whether they should get on a call with you or not. Boom. But don't worry because we have the funnel hacking breakdown. Okay. Don't think I'm going to go all in on, you know, teaching you guys and telling you guys, no, we're going to actually look at some real funnels here. So again, we're going to look at the man, Sabri Subi, because he's a huge digital marketer and his funnels are, are great to uh, kind of dissect, right? So as you can see here, this is what his page looks like. And on his Instagram bio, get your free copy of my best selling book, right? But there's a catch. The book ain't really free. Uh, it's one of those, you know, it's free. Just, just help me with um, shipping and handling. Shipping and handling is like 30 bucks. <laughs> but I don't know in what world it costs 30 bucks to ship a book. Uh, obviously, you're paying for the book and handling, but it's just the headline. So whatever. Whether that's cool or not, I don't know. It's up to you. And then you can click here to go rush me a free copy. And then, you know, you buy his $17 book or whatever. And then you give him your email and your information. So that is his top of funnel. And also, as we can see there, what was that? Basically, whenever I take my mouse off of the page, it says, wait, before you go. And then it basically just reminds you to buy. Okay. This is called a exit pop-up. Right? These are things that you can do to increase your conversions. But I digress. And then here's the landing page for the low ticket. Boom, boom. And then here is the uh, next step, but the offer has apparently expired. But there was a cool next step, basically where it was like, yeah, and then this is where you go to fill out the application for my uh, consult, consult, right? It's basically the thing that we looked at up uh, at the top, okay? But whatever the offer is expired. so. Don't worry because we still have a couple more here. So now this is what email retargeting looks like. Okay, so I have some email retargeting emails that we can actually take a quick peek at from, I believe these ones are Sabri as well. So yes, this one is Sabri Subi as well. So it says this, separate line, it's happening tonight at midnight, I'm sorry. So obviously that's meant to get you intrigued. What does that mean? What is, what is it? What's happening tonight? Why is he sorry? Tyson, I'll cut straight to the heart of the matter. Tonight at midnight, we're closing the doors on this insanely good deal for my 1.33 billion sales funnel. This sales funnel is a perfect companion to the book I'm sending out to you. It does not, uh, it does most of the heavy lifting for you. So please give some serious thought to everything included in this bonus offer. For just 197, you will be getting instant access to my super high converting sales funnels, direct response, copy templates, email follow-up templates, and even all the design funnels, literally everything. Ask yourself, what can I buy for a 90, 197 that has the potential to plummet your cost per lead and create a stampede of hungry buyers that flood your business? These pages convert up to 40%. Check it out. And then here's just proof. Anywho, until midnight, tonight only, you can snap up this crazy deal and save $9,803. I mean, we actually went and tried to and it was already gone. So the scarcity was actually real here. I can't wait for you to get access to this seriously powerful system and sales funnel. Best regards, Sabri, right? And then he has another email where essentially he does the same thing. So that is what email retargeting looks like, okay? So after I opt in and buy the, buy the book, buy his little $27 book, he's going to say, yo, what about this $197 thing that you didn't buy, okay? 
And then at the bottom of the funnel, we have email retargeting to the high ticket. So the high ticket being the application that we looked at. And it says, yo, I'm watching you, Tyson, but not in a creepy way. You see, technology tells me you checked out my free training and then left right before uh, the best bit wipes tear. Look, Costin, this was in Costin's email, my, my, my uh, <laughs> dude who works for me. Um, what did I ever do to you, huh? But seriously, I'm hoping you just got busy. Uh, if so, no worries. I'm going to give you one more chance to watch the training before we burn the bridges. Let your email address on fire, call the police, and say goodbye to you forever. Jokes. Okay, now here's a good bit. A cool part of what we're working on really well in the market right now uh, is to send custom messages to our prospects on their behavior. I mean, imagine having a neat little reminders like this going out to your prospects, all on autopilot. While you catch a workout, do a hot yoga session, binge watch Netflix, or just enjoy life. Meanwhile, this little workhorse is sifting, sorting, and nurturing your prospects, doing all the grunt work for you. So you're not spending your time speaking to tire kickers and price shoppers, because that's the quickest way to murder your sanity with a blunt hacksaw. Instead, you are only speaking with people who are qualified and that you can help. Anywho, let's do the same for you, because this is working like crazy. Let me show you firsthand how to get more clients, customers, and sales than you can possibly handle. I go all over this here. So this is essentially a webinar where after the webinar, he tells you to uh, apply for his, for his program, right? All right, yeah, it's the same one we looked at. And you go here to apply to his session, boom. And that's kind of how they look. So now we have just gone through and funnel hacked a whole funnel. But don't worry because now there are bonus courses on how to write copy for your high converting funnels because copy is one of the most important parts of all of the funnels. And as you saw there, what do you get? You get a headline and you get a video sales letter. All of that is copy, even the video sales letter. Guys, videos are just copywriting in motion. You better believe that his copywriter actually went ahead and wrote that video. And it's probably the one behind the whole thing, making him thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands. Actually, I think he said $1.33 billion, $1.33 billion sales funnel. Guys, if that don't show you how valuable these sales funnels are, I don't really know what possibly could. So here are your next steps. Number one, you're going to want to analyze a couple of sales funnels on your own. How it's best to do this is to go on Instagram, go through and start clicking on a bunch of random ads. Okay, then you're going to get more ads and then you're going to click on more and then you're going to see more sales funnels. Next is to share this video with other people who are asking about sales funnels. Guys, one of the most common, peop common things people get asked is, you know, what is a sales funnel? How do I do a sales funnel? What does it look like? Can you give me some examples? This, that, or the other thing, right? You might as well just hit them up, send this video to them, and then they will be set. Next, you're going to want to join the free Discord community below full of copywriters who can help you and answer questions and just mastermind with you on how to create the best copywriting and the best funnels. Next, you're going to want to download the free Ultimate Outreach Playbook down below so that you can get your next copywriting clients. And then, last but not least, get copywriting clients with the free one hour course that is on screen now anyways guys that's it for today now you know how to create profit revenue building sales funnels and of course i'll see you guys on the next one peace